Hello and welcome to the session. I am Deepika here. Let's discuss a question which says An arm contains 25 balls of which 10 balls bear a mark X and the remaining 15 bear a mark Y. A ball is drawn at random from the arm. Its mark is noted down and it is replaced. If six balls are drawn in this way, find the probability that all will bear X mark, not more than two will bear Y mark, at least one ball will bear Y mark, and the number of balls with X mark and Y mark will be equal. So let's start the solution. Now according to the given question, an arm contains 25 balls of which 10 balls bear a mark X and the remaining 15 bear a mark Y. Again, a ball is drawn at random from the urn. Its mark is noted down and it is replaced. So let A be the event. of getting a ball mark X and B be the event of getting a ball marked Y. So we have probability of A is equal to 10 over 25 and this is equal to 2 over 5 that is P is equal to 2 over 5. Now, probability of B is given by 1 minus 2 over 5 and this is equal to 3 over 5. So, we have Q is equal to 3 over 5. Now, we have Probability of X successes is equal to NCX into Q raised to power N minus X into P raised to power X where X is equal to 0 to N and Q is equal to 1 minus P. Now here we have n is equal to 6, p is equal to 2 over 5, and q is equal to 3 over 5. Therefore, probability of x successes is equal to 6cx into 3 over 5 raised to power 6 minus x into 2 over 5 raised to power x. Now in part 1 we have to find the probability that all the 6 balls drawn will bear x mark. So in part 1 probability of 6 successes is equal to 6c6 into 3 over 5 raised to power 6 minus 6 into 2 over 5 raised to power 6 and this is equal to 1 into 1 into 2 over 5 raised to power 6 which is equal to 2 over 5 raised to power 6 hence the probability that all the balls drawn will bear mark X is 2 over 5 
raised to power 6. So this is the answer for part 1. Now in part 2, we have to find the probability that not more than 2 will be a Y mark. Now 6 balls are drawn. So if no ball is drawn, that is 0 ball is drawn with Y mark, then 6 balls are drawn with X mark. Similarly, if 1 ball is drawn with Y mark, then 5 balls are drawn with X mark. Again, if 2 balls are drawn with Y mark, then 4 balls are drawn with X mark. So, the probability that not more than two will be a Y mark is the same as the probability that at least four will be a X mark and this is equal to probability of X greater than equal to 4 and this is again equal to probability of X equal to 4 plus probability of X equal to 5 plus probability of X equal to 6 and this is equal to 6C4 into 3 over 5 raised to power 6 minus 4 into 2 over 5 raised to power 4 plus 6C5 into 3 over 5 raised to power 6 minus 5 into 2 over 5 raised to power 5 plus 6C6 into 3 over 5 raised to power 6 minus 6 into 2 over 5 raised to power 6. Now this is again equal to 6C4 which is 6 into 5 over 2 that is 15 into 3 over 5 square into 2 over 5 raised to power 4 plus 6C5 which is 6 only into 3 over 5 into 2 over 5 raised to power 5 plus 6C6 which is 1 into 3 over 5 raised to power 0 which is also 1 into 2 over 5 raised to power 6. Now let us take 2 over 5 raised to power 4 common from these terms. So we have this is equal to 2 over 5 raised to power 4 into 15 into 9 over 25 plus 6 into 3 over 5 into 2 over 5 plus 2 over 5 into 2 over 5. Now this is again equal to 2 over 5 raised to power 4 into 27 over 5 plus 36 over 25 plus 4 over 25 and this is again equal to 2 over 5 raised to power 4 into 135 plus 36 plus 4 over 25 and 
this is equal to 2 over 5 raised to power 4 into 175 over 25 and this is equal to 7 into 2 over 5 raised to power 4. Hence the answer for part 2 is 7 into 2 over 5 raised to power 4. Now in part 3 we have to find the probability that at least one ball will bear Y mark. Now the probability that at least one ball will be a Y mark. And this is equal to 1 minus probability that no ball will be a Y mark. So no ball will bear Y mark means all balls will bear X mark. So this is equal to 1 minus probability that all balls will bear X mark. Now we have the probability that all balls will be a x mark is 2 over 5 raised to power 6. So this is equal to 1 minus 2 over 5 raised to power 6. So the answer for this part is 1 minus 2 over 5 raised to power 6. In part 4, we have to find the probability the number of balls with X mark and Y mark will be equal. Now, 6 balls are drawn. So, the probability that the number of balls with X mark and Y mark will be equal is given by probability of X equal to 3 and this is equal to 6C3 into 3 over 5 raised to power 3 into 2 over 5 raised to power 3. Now, this is equal to 6C3 which is 6 into 5 into 4 over 3 into 2 into 1 into 3 over 5 raised to power 3 which is 27 over 125 into 2 over 5 cube which is 8 over 125 and this is equal to 4 into 27 into 8 over 25 into 125 and this is equal to 864 over 3125. So the answer for this part is 864 over 3125. So this completes our session. I hope the solution is clear to you. Bye and have a nice day.